I didn't know you were here. Oh, I just got here. They asked me to, uh, they told me uh, to stand out of the way until the scene was over. You, know, you want to get out of line of fire? Yes. I called you last night from the airport as soon as I arrived. Tony was on the line. Yes, he told me. I really didn't expect you over here this morning. I missed you. Well, I thought I'd better come over because... Do you have any trouble finding the plane? Uh, there's something I have to tell you. Yeah? You see, uh, Tony still doesn't know about us. I never told him. He seemed to know who I was on the phone. Well, he knew that you were someone that I met at a party when you were here last year. And I said that you promised to look me up if you ever got back to London. And here I am. Yes, but the fact is, he's changed. He really has. He's stopped feeling sorry for himself about his tennis, and he's trying really hard to make a go of his new job. It's difficult to explain, Max, but he's everything now he wasn't before. He's caring and considerate, and he needs me. Max, he does. Hey, Max, we're breaking for lunch. Back at two. Right. I'm sorry. Well, takes some getting used to. I know. Believe me, I know. Want have some lunch? No, I don't think we better. Sorry, Max. Well, I'd at least like to be able to call you, say goodbye before I leave London. There is one thing, Max. I, I don't even know if I really should tell you, but um, you remember those letters you wrote to me after you left? Of course. I burned them all. Except one. You probably know the one I mean. I probably should have never written it. Oh, no. I'm so glad you did. I loved it. I used to carry it with me until the letter disappeared, along with my handbag at Victoria Station. The handbag was returned about two weeks later from Lost and Found, but the letter was gone. 